This is question 12 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Higher Maths exam. We're shown a diagram which is a cosine graph or a graph related to a cosine graph. It's amplitude we don't know and the period of it we're not sure of. But it's certainly based on a cosine graph transformed in some manner or another. And we're told that this shaded area from 0 to pi upon 4 is half a unit squared. We're asked to work out the value of this. Now you might be surprised at how few marks there are for this question. So there's some subtlety going on. We don't really need to work out a lot of detail. There's not a lot of calculation in this question. So let's look at the meaning, first of all, of an expression like integral a to b of some function. And in practical terms, on a diagram, the normal interpretation of this is that we will get the area from x equals a to x equals b between the graph y equals f of x and the x-axis. So that integral would give us the area of this. Now, if the graph happened to be below the x-axis between a and b, then this would give us a value which is the negative of the area. And then there's the peculiar situation where a graph crosses the x-axis between a and b and certainly this integral does not give us that area because the part above the x-axis would come out calculated as a positive value in this integral and this would come out as a negative value so parts of this negative area if you like would cancel this positive area so below the x-axis Values for the area come out as negative, the true positive area, and parts above the x-axis come out as the actual area. So in this example here, uh, we're told that this area is a half. Now, let's get rid of the these little explanation diagrams and have a look at the symmetry of this graph. It is a cosine graph. If we continued this graph on up to this point, there is a, a terrific symmetry in, in this, in that this area here would be identical area to this. There's an axis of symmetry in what I've drawn down here. This area here is identical to this area here. And in fact, this area and this area are identical. In fact, all four areas here are identical. We can rotate this graph half turn around this point. This area would fit on top of this area. We can reflect about this line and this half of the graph would fit on top of this half. So there's a terrific symmetry, uh, rotational and uh, bilateral symmetry in this. But the net result is that this area here, this half unit squared area is identical to the area of this but because this is below the the x-axis in the integral this would turn out to be minus a half and in the integral this area here would turn out to be a minus half now we can't really say it's minus a half unit squared because it doesn't give the area but if we look at that integral from 0 all the way up to 3 pi upon 4 there and it doesn't matter what the formula is it happens to be a cos bx uh, we, I mean in the sense that we don't need to find a and b but we do need to know it's a cosine graph otherwise the symmetry wouldn't work but this integral from 0 all the way to 3 pi up and 4 this would turn out as a half this part would cancel it 
would be left with this third part. So the whole thing would turn out to give you a value of negative a half, which is not the whole area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis, simply because this part above will cancel with this identical part below. And this part here, the final part, is still below. So negative a half is what we would get.